Yo, what's up, legends? Welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel today. And now in today's video, we're going to be showcasing some Valorant mobile gameplay. A big thank you to my good friend, Andrew. Make sure that you check out his channel. He is the one that supplied this intel and this gameplay not so long back. And make sure that you do subscribe to him because he's got the latest news on Valorant mobile. Because of course, you guys know I don't really cover it that much. But I'm kind of excited to watch this raw gameplay for the first ever time with you. Enjoy. There it is, guys. So as you can see, Andrew's logo is scattered everywhere. And I don't blame him for actually doing that. But we're going to turn this up. We're going to go as high, well, 100%. But straight away, here's Phoenix. You guys are fully aware of him in Valorant if you've actually played that already. But taking a look at the game models, the models look amazing. Background music is on point. The UI, of course, this is just... Uh, you know, uh, early stage of the game development's UI. So kind of hyped over this. And I'm not entirely sure if this is meant to be on YouTube, but it's been on YouTube now for oh, no, some time. So I don't see any, any issue of me reacting to it, in my opinion. But loading in then, as we can see, here are all the characters that are currently, you know, being played in this match. I'm kind of hyped over this game, though, because you guys know I like Standoff 2, Crit Crops, back in the day. Now, Valorant is, is going to be one of those games that are going to be awesome to play. Uh, Alright, so it's in Chinese. Not a problem at all. But taking a look then, uh, the HUD. The HUD seems okay. Um, Of course, you know, it's probably, uh, it's you know, it's early. So, a lot's probably going to be changed now in the upcoming test. Which, by the way, if you don't know that there's an upcoming test coming in for Valorant Mobile and the, you want to apply for it, then make sure that you check out Andrew's latest video. So, Andrew, shout out to you, bro. Um, his latest video actually shows you that there's a new playtest coming up. So, if you want to apply, do it that way. But yeah, actually, let's take a look at the buttons then. Oh, and right, we're going to buy. So, the buy menu looks clean. Nothing wrong with the buy menu at all. But yeah, looking at the buttons, uh, like the joystick and stuff, probably will be improved. Like, you can definitely tell this is an early version of the game. But the sound effects sound very good. The graphics look amazing as well. Oh yeah. This is a this is a complete version of Valorant for our mobile. This, like this isn't like Apex Mobile where it's like a complete new game. This is Valorant Mobile completely. 100%. Now, I'm kind of curious on how the monetization in this game is going to be. Are they going to keep it the same as PC and not go down the same route as our mobile games do it and try and rob you for every dime that you have in your bank? Now, that's something I definitely want to see. Now, whoever we're spectating right now doesn't know how to turn his screen while moving at the same time. <laughs> but here we go. SMG round. Yeah, the sound effects... Look really, like, sound really good. Visual effects. There's Phoenix's fire right there. Like, th this, this looks good. This actually looks really good. Are you guys excited for this game? Ooh, unlucky. So it shows the damage and damage given as well. By Spectator Client. Spectator Client looks awesome too. And I like the fact that you can actually see their skills down the bottom left too. So they got voice chat as well down the bottom left, as you can see. Currently running, I'm guessing down the bottom left is 59 frames per second. So 60 FPS at the current moment. But again, this was this was recorded four months ago. So th this video is four months old. Bear that in mind. And now another test is hitting the market. So I don't know what they needed to improve. Maybe four months ago, they didn't have all the maps. They only had the one. I'm not too sure. But this is this is exciting. We're gonna see some abilities being used right now, so let's let's check it out. Again, I like the buttons. Oh, I like the line renders. Scans. The visual for everything looks so clean. The visual effects. I believe in you. You got this. Take your teammate. That's it. Nice kill. Beautiful. 
Oh, by the way, you guys couldn't see what I was talking about with the buttons on the bottom right. So, the, so there you go. You can see the buttons now the, down the bottom uh, down the bottom left. Oh my god, I'm brain dead today. Leave a like. Definitely check out Andrew's page, by the way. He, he's on top form with the Valorant news. And before you ask, I did get permission to be able to use his content to help promote his channel too. So don't worry. I'm not just stealing his content here. I'm actually interested in seeing what Valorant Mobile looked like. This is the, actually my first time watching this, by the way. Um, as you guys know, there's a game called Hyperfront that just released. It's made um, by a Chinese publisher. Uh, Netties, which do like to rip off games. But I, you know, I'm really intrigued in Valorant Mobile, especially that we got Valorant Mobile, Rainbow Six Siege Mobile, Warzone Mobile, all dropping within the next like couple of months or so, which is extremely exciting days for mobile gaming in general. But how long is this? This clip is like 13 minutes long. So th I'm guessing this is a full gameplay. This is so dope. Everything sounds like it should do. Everything looks like it should do. Now, as you can see by the jump button, he's got a walk button. Now, I hope that there's an option where you can just use the joystick to walk. I think there is. This guy, whoever's playing this right now, does not know what he's doing. Ah, <laughs> oh, bless him. If... The audio cue as well with the bomb. Getting louder when you get closer to it. I think they've done an excellent job here. You got voice chat. You got a clean UI. You got smooth gameplay. Great graphics. Great HUD system. Great audio. Great visual effects. I don't know if I was just repeat myself, but. Nice. So if you're wondering why this is in Chinese, by the way, um, I believe Tencent's on the back end of helping Riot out. Which, oh my god, that drives me crazy because Tencent haven't got the greatest name for monetization. So I'm a little bit worried, but this game was tested on uh, Coffee Shop. As you guys know, Apex Legends Mobile was also tested on Coffee Shop on WeChat. So the next test, um, according to Andrew's latest video, is going to be on Coffee Shop as well. So you will need to have a registered uh, Chinese ID to be able to participate. Go on, son. Kill him. Go on. Collect the orb. Nice. I'm just taking this in. Hmm. Just it, it doesn't feel real. It's just crazy how far mobile gaming is going right now. Like look at the third person animations as well when he's like spect like when he was looking at his teammate running. Yo, Andrew, how many subscribe uh, notifications you put in this video, bro? You got your logo scattered everywhere. Subscribe, subscribe every every 30 seconds. My man. Make sure that you go subscribe to him then. But no. What are you what are you, what are you guys' thoughts? I, I'm actually curious to see your thoughts. Because one of the things, uh, of course, this dude is playing bots, clearly. Now, I just really hope that there's not that many bots included. Because, like, it's the, it's the most irritating thing in mobile games right now. And it's why we get such bad rep. It's because our games are filled with bots all of the time. Until you get to, like, extreme high ranks. 
But that process of ranking up is just like, it's so boring and demotivating. And it's where like a lot of games lose players because people just get to a point. It's like, I'm bored. I don't want to rank up playing bots for the next 24 hours of my life to hit the high ranks to play with real people. Yeah, the animations are spot on right now. Leaderboards. But yeah, as I was saying, look at the third person animations. This is crazy. It's evolutionary as well, if you think of it. Uh, the reason I'm so quiet, by the way, is this is the first time me watching this. Usually when I do react videos, I usually watch the videos. So I can make the videos more entertaining. But I'd much rather you guys actually watch this raw with me. Because in my opinion, this, this is just evolutionary for us. Like, we're in that... Like, everyone that's in MOA gaming now, we're, we're going to experience that curve where we can say... We are the OGs of gaming before all these big games come out came out. And we're witnessing all these big games in development before they hit. Think of mobile gaming in 10 years time. And we can say like, we were there when, when mobile gaming was making history. Like when mobile gaming become an actual big, ginormous thing worldwide and not just in China. That's what I love. And that's why, like, you know, I got, I got like a five grand PC, 5,000 pound PC. I got like a 10,000 studio and like people ask me like why are you a mobile creator it's because like it's the passion like i love games and i love development of games and i love the progress like the complete progression of a game and a game platform and like i've experienced consoles gone from nothing to something absolutely insane i've been there when pcs were literally nothing compared to what they are now and i'm happy to like and pretty much say like mobile gaming i started off so early and I'm witnessing it, like, hit that evolutionary stage. And it's just crazy to me that I've actually been able to witness three platforms absolutely thrive in my lifetime. But that's crazy. But mobile gaming is the next one upcoming. I know it's huge already, by the way. Don't get me wrong. But it's just, like, look at these masterpieces. These, these are massive games on PC and console. But I, I'll be, I, from what I'm watching now, like, I do love these games. But like I mentioned, if they've got bots in the game, the game's going to be way too slow. And of course, playing these these games solo is just not that fun. Like, I remember playing Standoff, um, Critical Ops solo, and it's not fun. But when you play with a full team, it's so enjoyable. But that's why I'm so excited for like Warzone Mobile and stuff. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay, so it looks like it goes to first to seven. Um, of course, it's not going to be full games like it is on Valorant. Unless this is like casual and then ranked has like the full full rounds. Um, but I think that's completely it. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that raw gameplay. A massive thank you to again to Andrew. Make sure that you go drop a like and subscribe on his videos. And if you do want to participate in the next Valorant test, then make sure that you check out his latest video on how you can actually find it and how you can apply but again, guys, super exciting times for mobile gaming. And uh, we're all here to witness it. So, yeah. Drop a like and subscribe, guys. Roll to 100,000 subs. Thank you so much.